Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Megan. I make all sorts of content here on YouTube, have for a while. Um, today, as you can see by the title, I'm just running down all of my purchases going into the new year. I'm super stoked. I've completely redone my closet. So if you don't follow me already on Poshmark, there's going to be so many clothing items listed. Obviously none of these, just like the new stuff. But um, if you've ever seen something on my Instagram or whatever, and you're maybe hoping to snag it, I have a lot posted um so yeah uh check that out but if you want to keep watching go ahead stay right here and we'll get into all of my new purchases for 2022 I just want to preface this video by saying like there's no reason for you to go out and buy a ton of new clothes like I'm sure your guys' closets are fine. For me this was a long time in the works because all of my purchases in 2020 were really like loungewear and comfy clothes and I wasn't really going anywhere or doing anything and I realized when the world like opened back up in 2021 this year I mean it's still kind of closed down but I just I didn't have things like I had really trendy pieces that like I held on to for trips or I had basically like really sloppy lounge outfits so for me it was really important to start building a wardrobe that I, I would love that I could wear not only like out to go do activities but like every day now that I'm like going back into the office that's what was the most important thing was sort of finding pieces that I could wear year-round that were more staples and basics and I needed to be an adult and not <laughs> a college kid because really like I graduated in 19 and I had very few like work clothes because when I was working during undergrad as a marketing coordinator I was also going to class so I really only had to have like a couple outfits a week to go into the office it was hybrid anyways like before the pandemic then like all of 2020 and 2021 obviously a ton of remote or hybrid work so didn't really need a ton of like nice clothes for work or for going anywhere or doing anything but yeah so neat all i was saying is like for me this the, these purchases make sense i'm not telling you to go out and buy a bunch of things but yeah i'm super stoked and i just want to show you guys all the pieces i picked up for next year that i think are going to be trends or you know like really great staple pieces that'll last you okay let's get into it so i guess we could start off with just accessories wanted to go quality versus quantity for like a staple earring so i have a couple but this is my most recent purchase and they are hair candy by hand with city and stars so my friend michelle's boutique i really like them and i think they'll be a good statement piece earring i don't have a ton of them because i tend to just wear simple posts that are like this size um so yeah but outside of the statement earrings i did go ahead and invest in nice silver posts so you can see um i have my obviously the spacing is awful maybe this ear is better so i have my double and my triple also pierced so i bought it's like a four pack and it had I bought a four pack of earrings. This was one of them. The other ones are in my ears, but I just wanted like a staple set of silver posts to put into my ears because I never wear them. The posts, uh, this necklace and this ring, they're all Adornia and it's a really like expensive high-end jewelry. I, t I actually got them really cheap on Nordstrom Rack. So I will try to find the links to those. I believe there's someone like to know it, but everything will be in the description. But anyways, I just wanted to find some more staple jewelry that I could wear every day that was versatile instead of just like all these fun statement pieces and fun things. I wanted a couple of quality pieces. Last accessory I really wanted to show, I did not plan on purchasing these, but I was using Fashion Pass and these are Lay Specs. Um, you've probably seen in my Instagram post me wearing a bunch of the like pictures with these But um, they are just a super nice wired sort of sunglass. They are under a hundred dollars. Okay <laughs> So four of these are actually gray and one of them is light tan first one I got is by show me your Mumu. It's a little bit of an expensive one, but it says best in the West It's a really nice Mumu graphic tee first off, but second um for my wedding 
that is my future last name so I thought it would be fun to have and I thought it'd be nice to have like a nice tea for not only like the honeymoon but like the weekend and stuff so that is one of my favorite graphic tea purchases this year I'm missing a graphic tea I will link the next graphic tea which is actually a green one but um I believe it's by the laundry room and I got them from City and Stars. I will leave two of the teas on her website linked. I own one of two of them. I plan on owning the second one by next year. I love getting my teas from her. So check out that boutique. That's also where this came from. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm gonna move on to graphic teas. This one is from Maddie Green Boutique. And it's a girl who has just sort of like a, a t-shirt press business and it's super cute. You should check out her Instagram. But um, this one says work from home business casual and this is very fitting. This is the type of stuff that I wear when I'm working from home. This one, so this is the other one from Maddie Green Boutique. You can see I'm very predictable. I like gray t-shirts. Um, this one is a 2XL and it says this is my stay at home and do absolutely nothing tea. And then outside of the teas from there, I also just have two Billabong teas that I purchased this year. I clearly, I had like two teas and I've destroyed them. This was my very first like graphic tea purchase. You may have seen like in a blog post or like an Instagram post back in January. I was like wearing this literally all the time. It's completely faded, but I still love it. And I think it's kind of cute to like wear to the gym over like with like a pair of like short biker shorts or whatever. And then the last one is another Billabong one. This is like the newer version of that. I'd say this is more of like a fall version. The other one's more like a summer color. They fit pretty oversized, but I guess like you could also, if you wanted them even bigger, you could go up to a medium. I just still like a little bit of structure in mine if I'm gonna be wearing them day to day. The other tees were just more like lounge around the house and do nothing in. So I, I tend to size up in those. And then if I want to wear like an oversized one, I still get the smaller medium ones so that I can wear them with like jackets, denim jackets, like all of those. Dresses. So first up, I'm wearing one. I did not try this on and it is like in like a clip for you guys, but it is just like one with like cutouts on the side. I'm definitely gonna wear this on my honeymoon. I'd stand up, but it's like all scrunched up and too short right now. But yeah, it was from 12 Tribe and I ended up getting a ton of stuff from their sale for my honeymoon. So you might see a lot of white pieces and wonder what the hell is this? And it's really just like investing beforehand in clothes that I can wear for like my wedding weekend and like honeymoon and everything. Um, I don't think I'll ever wear this much white ever again, but <laughs> I I really like a lot of the purchases I made. But anyways, other than the dress I'm wearing, this is another um, dress. It is by Aster the Label, I believe. And it, I got it from City and Stars. She has a couple other colors. This is super flattering. I ignore, I probably have a stain on the front as I'm trying it on. I still haven't gotten it dry cleaned, but um, I love this dress. I wore it to a wedding and my bridesmaid's dresses actually are going to look a lot like this. Next up, I have just this black ribbed dress. What a staple, again, from City and Stars. I'm pretty sure it's Project Social Tea, but um, you should definitely like if i'm naming a brand still go shop from her if it's out of stock then i will leave it on like the vendor site but i love this midi it is like a midi ribbed dress and it has like a slit in it i actually wore it for thanksgiving super comfy i feel like you can wear it year round um okay this one is one of my favorites it's nia the label um, it comes in some other colors, but Michelle has this in her boutique as well. So you should definitely go check this out. This is like a crowd favorite. I wore this for my bridesmaids like brunch. I like had over and over and like asked them to be my bridesmaids with like a picnic. It was really over the top, very on brand, but very over the top. Um, but yeah, I love this dress. I will be wearing it again for my honeymoon, for my wedding, maybe even on my bachelorette. Like if we go to brunch somewhere, I love this. Next up is, you've probably seen a, a picture in this too. This is a Cleo Bella dress. It is so pretty. It is definitely a splurge, but it's something that I thought not only I could wear for my wedding, but it's like more of like a classic dress. It's not like trendy in any sense. And um, this is the last dress. I wore this to my cousin's wedding. It's fun. Um, Michael's sister borrows it a lot. <laughs> 
but I love the ties on it. I feel like it's perfect for any height. Again, I'm 5'3". My little sister is probably like closer to six foot and we both have worn this. I have a size medium. I just think it's so fun to have year round. It's like the perfect maxi dress. I just wanted to bring up this wrap skirt while I was talking about dresses. It's from Lay Liss. It's a wrap skirt, so it shorts in the back. I can't believe we're to the point where like people don't know what skorts are. <laughs> I like would wear them all of elementary school. Anyways, they're back. Um, but it's like this perfect tie wrap score and I'm super excited, yeah, mainly for the wedding. Also like for the weekend, like maybe wearing this to brunch like in the morning before we get on our plane. Athletic wear next because this is its own category. So first up, we will go with workout tanks, our free people, basically like tank brahmis. So there's two different styles. This is shorter. I'm gonna, I swear to you by the next year, I will have this in every color. I love these. But these are more cropped. They fit a little bit longer than a sports bra. I always get them medium and large. So they're 92% nylon and 8% spandex. But look how bright these are. I tend to destroy clothes and I wear these a lot and I haven't destroyed them yet. Um, but they are from Free People. I think these come in like 30 something colors, guys. And the second style is this Razorback. Sorry, that black one has a bunch of lint all over it. It's this Razorback tank. I also get a medium large in this. I probably could get a small medium, but they tend to sell out. So like a high necked crew neck, you probably also see me posting these. And then they have the really nice cut of the razor back. Again, they fit like a longer length tank, but they're still like cropped. I think that one also, the razor back also comes in a lot of colors. So I actually buy a lot of them from Shop Henley. Um, it's good to find boutiques that carry this stuff because it's hard like to even get approved to carry free people and all this stuff i only know this from like hearing from michelle so i tend to buy a lot of my free people like movement stuff from um shop henley and then if i want something more specific and i can't find it i can buy it directly from free people but i also tend to buy it from nordstrom rack when they're on sale because they kind of put colors on sale but and then other colors are still full price so i clearly i have all the neons but Two more really great purchases. I'm sorry, these are covered in dog hair. I need to, I wear these to like lounge around the house in. Um, so I also got this from Shop Henley. She, or Free People makes two different types of little shorts like this. Obviously I still love my Gymshark ones. I still wear my black ones from them, but this one is not like as ribbed. This one's like a full on like ribbed material. So I got medium larges in them. They run just like the tanks. It's small, medium or medium large. I get the medium larges. I'll drop my measurements and stuff too. I feel like it's really helpful to see like what sizes people buy in certain brands. But these shorts are great. I can't wait to start buying maybe some leggings from Free People Movement as well. I feel like their stuff is actually so underrated. I've been working with Stronger so I actually really like their athletic wear, but this is the black one, um, Etna top, and then I had the Etna leggings. So it has a little stripey, this green set, super cute. So I'll leave both of these linked, but honestly, if they didn't send me this, I, I'm sure I would have gone and found like some sort of workout set that was like in these colors. I'm just trying to find more things that I can wear with or without working out, like kind of transitioning, like maybe I wear, maybe not this set, but maybe the black set. I wear this with a sweater into the office and I go to Pilates in the morning and then I go to work. Like I just need to find things that like work more for my life all the time. I have a few tanks. This was a purchase. I didn't try this on. This is for our honeymoon. If we go golfing, it's like a halter tank collared top yes i know it's kind of against the dress i plan to like wear something else i just thought it was cute for a pick i play golf i've played golf since i was five i know what i'm talking about i know someone's going to roast me this is not golf attire but it is freaking cute so i'm gonna be taking a pick um this linen tank is from city and stars just a staple in the closet super nice i'll link it and then this was a weird purchase. Um, I really like those like body suits that kind of cut off right here. Didn't realize this came with shoulder pads. It looks good on. I just, I, 
I'm like waiting for someone to be like, are you wearing shoulder pads? So it's from Good American. It was on sale. That's why I took a chance on it. Still don't know how I feel about it. I've worn it once or twice. It's fine. Okay, I'm trying to hurry up. I've been filming for 20 minutes already. This is Day's Denim. Um, super nice. I don't know if I'm trying these on or not in the clip, but they've got like frayed um, ends. I can't even speak. They're torn. I have two pairs. They're both from City and Stars. I'll link them. And then one's Shy Girl, the other one's Straight Up. I don't have both right here, I believe. Shy Girl and Straight Up. This one's Straight Up. I can tell by the material. Straight Up's a little bit stiffer. Shy Girl is like you could fly in them. They're so comfy. Um, and then this is another City and Stars purchase. You know what? I'm Michelle's number one fan. It's fine. But these are Moomoo, so hopefully she still has a few pair of these. If not, I will just link it from the Moomoo site. But um, I love these. They're these like corduroy pants. I wore these for our Friendsgiving, and they were so comfortable. So I really like these. These are if you buy anything as like a staple. These for work would be great. I have these leggings. This is kind of a trendy item, but it sounds like they're here to stay. They're yoga pants. I hate that Gen Z, and like I'm Gen Z, but like molar Gen Z. I hate that we're calling them flare leggings. They're yoga pants. You should go to Victoria's Secret Pink and you get yoga pants. Like I don't understand. Um, but they have the cut on the front, so that is kind of like the new thing. Obviously, if I like held on to all my yoga pants, you could definitely tell they're the old ones, but you know, it's fine. I'm not bitter. Jackets first. <laughs> Obviously everything's like off the rack. It's just stacking up next to me. So this jacket you've probably seen in pictures. I'm obsessed with it. It was a great purchase. Thread and supply size small. This came from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I want it in more colors. I thought it was like my last choice for color, but I tend to wear it a lot with my Billabong graphic tee. So I then have this Moo Moo jean jacket. I needed a jean jacket that wasn't cropped. I'd had the same cropped one for like two years. So it was time. I threw that one away and got this one. This puffer, my dog has ripped and chewed on all of my puffers. So this is new, it's cropped. It's from Zella, I believe. This is another jacket. This one is Cali B. It's a size small, um, another Nordstrom rack find. And I love it, I've been wearing it a ton. I have not worn this yet, but the goal was to wear this with that Astro by the label, that midi like cow neck dress. January through like March is very cold in Colorado, so. I'm gonna get good use out of it. I got it in a size medium and it's like more of a cropped fit, but I feel like it's fun. It's nice as a blazer, but like also I don't know what that style is even called. And then the last jacket, this is 12th Tribe. I'll be completely honest with you, full price is a little bit pricey, but I do love the coloring on it. It's a very, very thin jacket, but it's cropped and I think it looks so cute. So I need to put my hair up. So let's talk about shirts. So this is like a gauze top is what you call it. City and Stars have it in a ton of colors. So I have purple, I have a white one somewhere, and then I have two colors of green. So when those come up, I will talk about them a little bit more. And I wear them with my straight up jeans and my shy girl jeans from days all the time. And that's pretty much an outfit. This is the newest edition. This came literally today. It is from Free People. It says We The Free. Um, I don't really understand all of Free People's different lines, but I got a size small. It is super cute. It is more like a shirt dress flannel situation, but that is something I know I'm gonna wear for work and just like I don't have any flannels yet. This you maybe recognize from my Shein haul and I also shot pics in it. It is a button down, it's a size medium. It's a little bit big, not gonna lie, but it just ended up being a staple in my closet. So I wanted to show it because I feel like that is something I will keep going into 2022. I always wonder, like, do people really keep everything that they show that they buy? Because I keep like 50-50. This is an item from City and Stars. I think it's still on the website. It's just the harvest top. I just needed more long sleeves for work. Okay, we have some trendy pieces from 12 Tribe. So this is a tank with a shrug, super freaking cute. I love this, but um, I don't, it's not practical. I, we'll see how long we keep it, but it is like a basic color. It's not like anything wild. So maybe we will keep it. Um, 
Okay, so these are both City and Stars purchases. Meal Muse. I don't, I don't know that brand, but I will leave these linked. They are for sure so online. I have a medium in both. I just wanted a basic cropped long sleeve top. All of my pants are very high waisted, so crops actually make sense when I go to work. Um, they're not like an awful choice, especially if you're wearing it with like oversized jackets or jackets or whatever. Um, it's a very cropped sort of sweater, but I wore it with a high waisted pair of dress pants. It's super cute. I think I also shot some content in it. It's from 12 Tribe as well. Some of the 12 Tribe stuff I'm showing like isn't in stock, but you can kind of go on their website and look. They've got similar things that they come out with or make. Like this turtleneck I know is not in stock on the website. I have an extra one. I got sent two, or maybe I bought two. I have one listed on Poshmark if you really want it, but it's a super cute sort of top. I've worn this to work. I just feel like, I don't know, it's different. Okay, sorry, apparently my camera has a cutoff time. So anyways, I bought this top because I had a black version of it that I wore at the place where we're getting married. We stayed at this Airbnb and we were like, oh, we should get married there. And now we're getting married there. This, I didn't know was gonna be just like that top. I thought it was a button down, but I still took a cute headshot in it. And I just like, when are you gonna wear this other than like out to the bars or on the weekend? So I guess we got ourselves a nice weekend girl top. Cause I don't know when else I would wear this, but it's super cute. And I got a cute headshot out of it. We made it look like a button down, it's fine. So this is 12 Tribe 2. That, that whole pile really that I just showed you was 12 Tribe I got tops from. Um, but it is this like skimpy cow neck like this tank. You've probably seen content pics. I can insert them too. Um, but this is supposed to pair with this and I just thought this would be like cropped and shorter and I thought this would be bigger. So, it's fine, they go together, but again, like, I probably wear them out to the bars and that's that. You can't really wear that to work. You can wear this clothes to work. Maybe with a different top underneath, I don't know. But these together are like a content outfit, not a, not a work outfit. So not what I thought they would be. So there's some, there's some regret in here, but it's fine. I was trying to make intentional purchases for 2021 and sometimes you just can't do that online. Um, this is, 12 Tribe is like known for these scarves. You can wear them as like tops. You can do whatever with them. You can put them in your hair. I put them in my hair. I'm not small enough to wear this as a top and that is okay with me. Um, okay, and then at the bottom of the pile, <laughs> these leather gauze tops, I'm missing the dark green one. But anyway, City and Stars, she has a bunch of different gauze tops. And if you don't see anything on the website and Google it on the website and can't find it, you can always DM them and be like, where are the gauze tops? Where are they coming back? What's happening? I feel like they are the perfect top. They're a good price point. I love them. The last purchases to redo my closet for the year are shoes. The first up, we have a nice pair of runners. It took me a really long time to convince myself to get these. Even when I was younger and played sports, I never had like nice runners. I had like Nikes and things that were like, as long as they were under $50 and on sale. And these are expensive, but 100% worth it. Like so comfortable. I've been going to F45 a lot. So I feel like having a nice shoe is very important for like cardio days, but also lifting days. I want to get a trainer style one. I don't know if I want a Hoka trainers or if, cause these are meant for running more. Um, or if I want the, is it on or one? I don't know, they're like trainers. Um, but yeah, I need to get one more nice pair of sneakers for the new year, but this was a, this is like one of those adulting purchases. My knees hurt, I need a good sneaker. Last up, we have these super cute booties. They're by Mia. I needed a pair. I tend to have one pair of booties for the season. So I have these as like the booties. I've got my lace up docks and then, it for boots I've got like actual snow boots but I tend to have one pair so my one pair in the past were the ones from Target they were snakeskin everyone was obsessed with them I don't think they make them anymore I should have bought like three pairs they were so comfortable I wore them all of undergrad <laughs> when I was downtown um, but yeah this is like my replacement for those is just this black pair that I can wear with anything anytime I'm gonna be downtown again our office is moving to where like I went to school so I'm just super stoked. That is it for this video. I can't believe 
it took me like 30 minutes but we've run through all of the new items i hope i didn't miss anything if i did maybe we should like insert them here what matter um <laughs> i can't believe my hair didn't last being down it's really hot with like a light right here too um <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching please comment like and subscribe down below let me know what you want to see here next on this channel and i won't see you until the new year but i'm super excited to be creating content and again not going to be a ton of content but i want to put out quality versus quantity and put out things that are helpful and like make sense about my life and about things going on so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you all in the new year bye <laughs>